which expression is equivalent to a to the power of 11 twelfths, where a is greater than zero. They're testing your knowledge of exponent rules here. So this, they have a fractional exponent. How fractional exponents work is like this. If I have five to the power of two thirds, it is the same as, I make a little root sign, this five goes under here, the two becomes the power, and the three becomes the root. Five to the power of two thirds is the same as the cube root of five squared. That pattern, this is how you can, you can switch back and forth. It doesn't matter what numbers they are. It could be 10 to the power of 15 over 72. That would be the 72nd root of 10 to the power of 15. That's what they're wanting you to know. That's the, the starting point. So let's look at this. A to the power of 11 twelfths. That would be equivalent to A to the power of 11 twelfths. My 12 becomes my root. And the 11 becomes the power. And I go, okay, 12th root of A to the 11th. I've got my answer. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Hmm. Okay, something strange is happening. <laughs> this is weird. What's happening? Well, let me look at my answers. I have the 12th root of A to the power of 132, 144th root of A to the power of 132, 121st root of A to the power of 132, and 11th root of A to the power of 132. Well, right off the bat, I'm going to eliminate A and D because as you can see in these two, both the base and um, both the, the root, excuse me, and the exponent were changed. However, in these two, well, this one, you've got the 11 outside, which I'm just like, no, there's no way that 11 is going to be the root because I know it's going to be related to 12. And this one, we have that 12th root, but the exponent 132 does not match 11. So already I'm like, okay, these are out. So what am I left with? A to the power of uh, 132, and it's so the 144th root of that, <laughs> Oy, or the 121st root of A to the power of 132. So in both cases, I have A to the power of 132 inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change both of these into this format, because remember, I can go back and forth. So this first one, B, would be a to the power of 132 over 144. And the second one, c, would be a to the power of 132 over 121. Okay, so, hmm, I need to try to get from here to either of these. How can I do this? How can I make these be equivalent? Well, if we have fractions, we can make them bigger or smaller. We can multiply by, in pretty much every situation, we can multiply by the number one and not change anything. So for fractions to multiply the number by the number one, we would have to multiply by something over itself, three over three or 15 over 15. Any number by over itself here, except for zero, is gonna be equal to one. So I could multiply this times three over three or 30 over 30 or any number over itself that would be multiplying that fraction by one. It wouldn't be changing the meaning. So if I have these two fractions, 132 over 144 and 132 over 121, can I multiply 11 over 12 by something to get to either of those two? Well, let's look at the first one here, 11 over 12. And I wanted to get to 132 over 144. Is there a number that can multiply over itself to get there? Well, 12 times what equals 144? 144 is 12 squared, 12 times 12. 11 times what equals 132? 12 again, if we know our 12 times tables. I know those are the hard ones, but it's good to know them for these sort of things. So, hey, I can multiply 11 by 12 to get 132, and I can multiply 12 by 12 to get to 144. 12 over 12 is one. There we go. And I go, hey, I think I've got my answer. But just to be sure, because this is an oddball problem, I'm going to check my other answer too. And if you're running short on time, you don't, I wouldn't do this. But, you know, if you have a second to double check your answer, why not? Let's see. Is there any number that I could do go, hmm, well, this is weird. So 11 times 12 is 132. 12 times, huh, there isn't a whole number that I can multiply 12 by to get 121. 
121 is 11 times 11. And that's it. So there's no whole number that I can multiply by, and it's certainly not 12. So that confirms it. That answer is out. That is not my answer A. The power of 132 over 144, which we got from B, is my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.